So a friend of mine that is a political operative that is very well known in a particular party uh, who has uh, helped facilitate uh, relationships uh, between myself and, and other folks, uh, I uh, reached out to this person over a year ago to make some meetings happen. And, uh, and this person had never had any experience whatsoever in the UAP topic none whatsoever. And of course, I'm explaining to her why I think that this is a, an important subject uh, for Democrats and uh, s- something that, that uh, lawmakers need to really wake up and pay attention to. And uh, so uh, we, I think we had spoken maybe about a month and a half ago. We don't speak very often. And this person has personal relationships with senators presidents. Uh, this person's very well known uh, in political circles. And I guess it was about uh, probably about nine, so six, six, 6 p.m. my time, I get a text on my phone and she's like, oh my God, I just, I, I just saw one and she sends a video. And, uh, and what had happened was uh, this person was in Florida at, uh, at, there, uh, this person has a penthouse that overlooks uh, uh, overlooks the Gulf Coast, and uh, they uh, this person was having a small dinner party with four other people, and it was around nine o'clock at night, uh, Eastern time, and they saw these lights off in the distance, and they they all began taping them on their or filming it on their cell phone. Next thing they know, two large Tic Tacs that. Uh, they described as larger than a Boeing 737 were hovering, you know, a hundred yards away from them. And uh, the kind of, I I mean, I think panic would probably be too strong of a word, but it was, it was frightening. Uh, The four party goers uh, ran out of the house uh, and uh, out of uh, her, uh, her place. And, um, uh, and it was alarming because this person had never had anything like this happen. Uh, it was obvious it was nothing else uh, that uh, that would have been made by human hands. And you know, going back earlier when I was saying that I believe that there is kind of a guiding hand, this particular person has the ears of a lot of folks in Washington. And to consider that uh, this. Uh, this person had never had any experience like that and encountered it, sent me video uh, and is trying to recover video from the four other people that were at the, at this uh, small dinner get together. I mean, that's, that's significant. And I can tell you that this person uh, and we, we chatted for a very long time. The second part of this conversation is, is that uh, I immediately connected this person with someone uh, that works in the government that is dealing with this topic this person debriefed, uh, debriefed her, and uh, and uh, as I sat and listened to the whole question and answer session, it sounded almost exactly what they uh, what David Traver encountered uh, over the Atlantic. Uh, so, so now this person that I've been trying to explain the the seriousness of this topic, this person now understands it. And uh, this person is going to be at a dinner function with a United States senator. I think it's in the next two or three weeks. And this person is going to personally pull that senator aside and explain what occurred. Uh, So very long. uh, One last point is that I do believe that um, these kind of connections are not coincidental. Uh, I do believe that it's not coincidental that uh, it wasn't until I started messaging on this topic that things started showing up above my house uh, where I've never seen it. Um, it's, there's too, too much going on, in my opinion, that is to be coincidental.